Welcome back to Chinstrap Traps. We have pizza. I gotta get a plate full of that dead before you leave. Mm hmm. Mm. Hi, Kira. Alright. So, we didn't lie. We got some pizza. It's delicious. It's ham, it's onion, and right on top is a little bit of burnt American cheese. Mm. Uh, I, will, I will be grabbing some of that sexy mess in a little bit here. Mm -hmm. So I will grab Ugh. half of it. Yes. Since you didn't pay money for it. I didn't pay money for it. Whoa! What's happening? How do I shoot? I'm oh, here, okay, Uncle Andros. I kind of remember this fight. It's kind of cool, I guess. I shoot him in the, in the belly button. Mm. Kira, can I help you with anything? Oh my lord! Don't lick me. Basically, this boss fight is just shoot me in the giant glowing fuck me buttons. Yeah. Mm. Exactly how Lost Planet 3 was. Like, you just. There's a, like the final boss battle, that's basically what it is. Giant flow of going fuck me buttons? Yep. Yeah, I can see that. I always hated it in these old games uh, where all the controls are inverted. Yeah. I always hated that. I mean, this I guess kind of makes sense because you, you're flying, but at the same time, it's like. Like, games like Mario or. Um, fucking what's it called? Like. Like Jack Ban Bauer like, like World Ban Base. No, like Banjo Kazooie or something like that. Like all the like all the camera controls are always inverted, and mm -hmm. I always I hated that. Like especially, there's only one game that I can think of in which I actually preferred inverted controls, and that was uh, Metroid Prime for the GameCube. I don't know why that game in particular, but defaultly the controls were inverted, and for some reason I just got used to it. I'm like, all right, that's I like that better. It's probably because you know you love that game and. You just, you dealt with it. I did deal with it, but I actually, like, I just got used to it over time. I'm like, that's just how I'm used to it. Like, I had tried putting the controls to normal. I'm like, this feels weird. God. This guy takes so much. Well, you found a way to shut me up. Stick pizza in my mouth. I didn't. That wasn't my idea. Mm. It was your family's idea. Maybe they got sick of hearing you through the walls. Hmm? I said maybe they got sick of hearing you through the walls. What? Don't, don't pull on me. Don't do this. <laughs> I'm not allowed to pull you? No. Okay. I see how it goes. Mm. Mm. Oh, did I shoot his dick thingy off? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Mm. Yeah, 15 points. I know, he's almost dead. This shit's finally starting to explode. Whoa! Nine good. points. I can do this. I got this. <laughs> it took me a while at the beginning to figure out how to shoot anyway. Yeah. Like, oh shit, how do I shoot? There we go. Alright. Yeah, your bitch ass is dead, bruh. Yes, no, that's actual. Yes, again. That yes. is actual death it. right there because. I love the fruit bazooka. <clears throat> that is actual death right there because you just vacuumed and spaced him. Yeah. It's funny how history repeats itself. Yet again, the engine has failed to defeat you. I like how all the other abilities that you unlock in this game are abilities, but then the last one's like, oh yeah, here's a fucking rocket launcher. Have a gun. Have a fucking gun, dude. It's like, it's such a weird contrast to like everything else in the game. Like, oh sweet, double jump. Oh sweet, you get the power slam belly flop thing. You know, and then like all of a sudden it's just like, here, just fucking shoot the hell out of everything. Doesn't matter. Skip the rest so of the just, game. So you can just... Oh, I don't know if I can do it in this area. By the way, uh, I haven't saved the game yet. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> We've just been going. Yeah. I think I have one. 
Yeah. Yes, but that's my other one. Oh, and I've got butthole too. Okay. All right. So what's gonna be the third one? Uh, I think butt gonna, chug. No, I think it's gonna be Rick. Okay. <laughs> Who is Rick? You may ask. Ricky baby. Uh, Ricky baby. <laughs> Ricky booby. That would be it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Gee, Billy, I thought you said you were gonna save this and take it to work with you. I am. I don't think you are. Fuck you. No, because you're already getting close to the halfway mark, and then I had the rest of that. All I need is, mine. you know, do one more. But fuck you. Don't judge me. You might actually be able to hear Billy eating this. Oh my god. See, I hate that the controls are inverted for this. I hate it. But yeah, look at You get a fucking rocket launcher. Look at this shit. Like, what kind of fucking ability is this? Like... All right, so you can do the you can do the double jump, you can do the spin, you can do the belly flop, and then what was that other one? What was the other one? Fuck it. You, you, you get all this other shit, and then like all of a sudden they're just like, hey, fucking shoot everything. It's easier. <laughs> yeah. Does it even waste your fruit? No, it doesn't. <laughs> you can just shoot as much as you want. Not that it would matter anyway, because you like I you get so much of the fruit in this anyway. I'm gonna erect Sean. <laughs> that guy's always fucking. Hey, you wanna fight? I'm gonna shoot missiles at you. And then, look at my ass. <laughs> Erection. Mm. Oh, that's so brutal looking when you hit him. The aiming for this is kind of strange, but it's whatever. It's atrocious. Oh, well, that's, you know, not supposed to be very good, I guess. <laughs> it's a platforming game. Mm. <clears throat> they kind of... Like, cra obviously craft some of the levels around some of these abilities, too, which is kind of cool. I think, uh, that sort of thing is pretty neat in games. I always like it more in games when they, um, decide that they give you a finite amount of abilities or tools for you to use. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the entire game is crafted around you using these tools and getting acquainted to how they work. Yeah. Rather than simply, uh... Oh, you're just gonna get, you know, some more shit that, you know, is better than all the old shit that you used to have, so it's obsolete now. Fuck it. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like. You know what, another thing I don't like is when they, um... They have... I, I can't, I can interrupt you. No, no, no. no. Fuck you. I'm not telling you not to interrupt me. Oh. I'm saying, you piece of shit. You oh, made me do this. The cheese. I did not make you do that. Mm -mm. Um, but... One you thing, made me eat it all. Um, you know one thing I hate kind of in games is when after a while of playing the game you get some sort of new item or ability and it's totally necessary and mandatory that you have this thing to proceed onward because then it doesn't feel like you're getting anything it feels like oh the game I've, I can now just access these areas now like you know what I mean I like, can now progress the game yeah like you can't progress the game unless well, you get well Metroid does that I know that, but I mean, like, it, the thing is, like, that, I mean, that's, you know, one of the, I'm not gonna say, like, it's, you know, free of that sort of thing, but I mean, uh, you know, uh, I, I kind of, at least in that game, for me, like, I like the exploration a lot more than a lot of these other games, you know, like, some of the games that I have in mind when it comes mm -hmm. to this sort of thing. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm gonna give that a game a free pass on it, although I kind of will, because I fucking love it. Mm -hmm. Fuck! But, uh... So, there is a little bit of bias there, obviously, but some other games, like, I'm not saying that their games are awful because they do that, but, like, a game like the newest Tomb Raider, for example, uh, you can't do certain things unless you get the, uh, the climbing hook, or, like, you know, the hatchet thing that lets you open doors, or whatever. It's like, you know, that's something that you need <clears throat> to progress. Same thing can be said about, a Metal Gear Solid 1. 
Well, yeah, but I mean, like... When you needed that key card and you had to backtrack everything because of it? Yeah. I think in that case, though, that's kind of, like, more, like, along the storytelling aspect of it, too. Like, you know, you have to go through these other things before uh, you get to, you know, go to the other areas where all the other people are at. How the fuck did I die there? <laughs> um... But I mean, like that, or like uh, Lost Planet Three did it too. Like the grappling hook, you have to get. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't. And there are some upgrades for that grappling hook. I might add that are stupid. Like, okay, one of the ones that you get right off the bat is the zip line one. Which, sure, okay, I can kind of understand that. Like you can shoot a grappling hook, but you can't. It doesn't zip you along. I guess that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. But one of the other ones that they had in there was is just stupid. It makes no sense to me. Holy shit! I like owled that. <laughs> um, it's. Uh, a magnetic hook that like let allows you to attach to uh, you know metal hooks hanging around. Yeah. But it's like most of these metal hooks are like near like a wall that you could easily just shoot it at. So it's like, why couldn't I just shoot it at the wall and then scale up that way? Because like you, like if you saw it, you'd be like, that's stupid. Yeah. It is stupid. <clears throat> By the way, we won't be playing Lost Planet three. Um, it's, uh, it's okay, but all the Lost Planet series is kind of just, okay. Yeah, well, the reason why I say I'm not gonna, we're not gonna play it is because, uh, tomorrow I plan on getting rid of it, actually. I'm gonna return it to GameStop while it's still pretty relevant, at least in terms of, you know, money. I'm probably assuming I'm gonna get, like, maybe... Fifteen? No, I probably will get, like, maybe 40 bucks, I think. Hopefully, maybe. That might be a little hopeful, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, but I'm getting rid of it and exchanging it, more or less. You know, having, you know, whatever money I get from it, I'm going to use to get Rayman Legends, because Rayman Legends is looks like a pretty cool game. And that we will be playing, because yeah, really that cool. looks pretty damn awesome. It is, it is an awesome game. I've only Those been... music sections are the ones that I'd be yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Erection. Look at my butt. <laughs> I don't know why I say erection every time, but. Well, next time on Chin Strap Chips. <laughs> don't diddle my tummy. I will diddle at anything I want to, bitch. Well, uh, we'll probably get to Neo Cortex and Willow Smith. <laughs>